What's going on YouTube? It's that black dude and I am back with another video. I was supposed to make videos late, um, later on when I had made the video last time, but I've been sick. I've been fighting either the cold or the Kung flu. I don't know what it's been. I've been sick as a dog. I still got a little bit left in me, but I've been taking my antibiotics thanks to my girl for hooking me up. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, so speaking of being sick, I wanted to go ahead and talk about health care because it's close to election time and I've been seeing these ads on TV talking about Wesley Hunt. Now, I don't know shit about Wesley Hunt and I really don't care, <clears throat> but they keep on talking about Wesley Hunt and Trump is bad for your health because they want to get rid of Obamacare and they show all these so-called sick people that are going to lose their health coverage if... Obamacare is put out to pasture. So here's the thing about Obamacare. Let's talk a little bit about Obamacare. Obamacare, when it came along, Obamacare forced you to buy insurance whether you wanted it or not. It forced insurance companies to take on people with pre-existing conditions uh, and premiums rose. Uh, you got less health coverage because more people was on the insurance system. Uh, and prices went up because there was no competition. So, also again, this is government run, so you're now forced to do it. You're forced to buy something with your money. After you earn your money, the government is forcing you to spend it on something that you don't want through them which was unconstitutional but they did it anyway so it was unconstitutional it kept being changed over and over and those little chips that um, those little GPS chips they were in there but it got taken out they had death panels in there um, Barack was on the interview where a woman was talking about her 100 year old aunt or something like that but, uh, wanted a heart transplant would she be able to get it and he was like no nope, she gonna have to take the pill and be comfortable those were called death panels those were in there taken out and then put back in so government basically deciding whether you live or die stuff like that there it's not stuff that the government gets to decide for one, they don't decide what you do with your money anyway. And then, you know, if you didn't buy the stuff, if you didn't spend the money the way they told you to spend it, spend your money the way they told you to spend it, then you would get a fine at the end of the year because you didn't do it. So it was unconstitutional to begin with. Now, fast forward. These folks on this commercial talking about it, well, if they get rid of Obamacare, people with pre-existing conditions won't get covered by insurance well I'm here to tell you that's false because a few weeks ago probably about a month ago now Trump had signed an executive order protecting people with pre-existing conditions from the insurance company now won't they make insurance higher yeah and no because see here's the deal If it made it through or not. A few years ago, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, y'all can do your research. I could do mine too if I felt like it, but I'm not gonna go and redo it now because I'm pretty sure there was an executive order allowing us to shop across state lines after the individual mandate for Obamacare was struck down. Meaning that you as an individual was not forced to spend your money on government insurance and if you did not spend your money on government insurance then you wouldn't get fined also you can shop across state lines forcing which would uh hold on oh yeah put your mask on
Put it on, man. Come on, I told you earlier, put it on, bro. Good to go. All right. That's the guy who pissed me off in the last video, but I see he didn't cut his hair too. He looked much better with his hat clip. Anyway. Anyways, what was I saying? You get to shop across state lines, okay? So when you shop across state lines, that forces insurance companies from across the United States to uh, compete with each other. So if you didn't like the insurance in Texas, you can get the insurance from Louisiana, or Delaware, or some other state, California, New York, wherever. You can shop around. That forces these insurance companies to look at each other from across the state line and be like, all right, they insurance is cheaper. I might have to drop prices over here. Because everybody all of a sudden, they go in the North Dakota for their insurance. They, they, they find their insurance from up there. We're going to have to drop prices. So people now, even without Obamacare, once they strike that down, if the Republicans actually have the balls to strike it down, because as you know, after we gave them the House and Senate, they didn't have the balls to strike it down. That was the whole point of us giving them the House and Senate, but yet they didn't have the balls to do it. Came up with all kinds of excuses. And then they all decided it's like 42, 43 people at the same time retired from the House and Senate just all walked because Trump was in there. They just all fucking retired at the same time. Just how the Democrats and shit got back in there. What a bunch of pathetic bitches to pull some shit like that. Anyways, so they get rid of Obama, uh, Obamacare. Yes, a lot of people gonna lose their insurance, but guess what? When Obamacare was created, millions of people lost their doctors. And millions of people lost their health coverage because after they lost their doctors, they had to re-sign up. Millions of people lost their jobs. Uh-oh, wife just wrote something. Millions of people lost their jobs because Obamacare was killing businesses. If you had 51 people or if you had 50 people or more, you had to uh, get Obamacare for your employees. And the cheapest plan was very expensive. If I am not mistaken, it was like $50,000 a person. I need to go and research that because that's an ass load of money. But that's what I have been putting out in my videos. If I am not mistaken, that was $50,000 a person. So, what was happening, big, big, big businesses like Walmart, they were cutting down, uh, they were cutting down hours. They were cutting down hours. Smaller businesses with like 55 employees, they just, hey, look, I'm gonna have to uh, cut you, man. People with like 70 people, they probably couldn't even operate with 50 people because so a lot of businesses, they, they, they had to shut down because they had just enough employees to keep their heads above water, but they couldn't cut back so far under that threshold and stay operational. People had to shut down. They couldn't keep people on. And me, I've met plenty of people in my line of work at that time that had small businesses that had to, um, that had to shut down. People that lost their business. So yeah, some of y'all gonna lose y'all insurance. But guess what? You'll be able to get cheaper insurance because now you can shop across state lines. These insurance companies gotta fight with each other to drop them prices. They gotta compete. See, for years it's been a monopoly. They didn't have to compete with each other. They just set prices. Oh, you stuck in Texas, homeboy. Speaking of that, being an insurance agent now, great time to do so. I mean, heck, 
it'd be a good time to do it because your market is now expanding. You're not just stuck selling in Texas. You're not just stuck selling in uh, Louisiana or wherever. You can put this stuff online and, man, your website, you know, it, you can set it up where you're selling just to Americans, right? So anybody in America can get, get insurance from you. So that that'd be a good um, little side hustle for you unless you transfer to full time. So anyway, yeah, they signed an executive order. You still safe. You you can still get your insurance. Probably cheaper than what you ever had. You'll probably be able to pick your doctors and stuff. It'll go back to the old ways, kinda. Probably better than what it was. But so far, I just wanted to bring that up because they keep saying that, you know, you, you're not gonna, is that a GTR? No, that's just a Camaro. They keep saying that people with pre-existing conditions are not gonna be protected. And, you know, that's bad for your health. And this is why we need to keep Obamacare around which was unconstitutional to begin with. What a crock of crap, man. You know, enjoy your freedom, enjoy your day. I'm gonna get off here, it's starting to rain. And uh, yeah, peace out.